going on folks clutch here and welcome back to the farm sim show for april 28th guys we're looking at all the brand new mods the updated mods as well as mods in testing so today we've got eight new mods and three mods that have been updated those updated mods include the hardy and the coon interactive sprayer some new colorings for each of those as well the placeable details pack has 10 new objects in so if you're using that placeable details pack go download that as for our new mods we'll be looking at well we've got Five here that are available for all platforms for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and for PC and Mac. And then there's three down here that are only available for PC and Mac. So they're exclusive to PC and Mac. Also, guys, stay tuned for later on. We're going to go through our mods and testing. There are a lot of John Deere mods and testing. We're going to want to take a look at those. All right, let's go take a look at what the new mods are. Let's fire it up right here. This is the Kessler 104. Also includes the Kessler 204 uh, crane up on top there. This is a trailer combined with a crane. Kind of suitable for smaller forestry operations. Of course, it can be towed with anything with a tow, a single point hitch, which is a small tractor or pretty much anything for that matter. That's some stabilizers that do come down. There are no options available for this. The only thing you can really change, guys, are the rim colors. So you can change that well, to any of the lizard colorings. We've gone to the yellow, so it matches there. But that is really the only option available to this. This sells for 27500 Next up, we have the B55FJE, as well as the B502G tipper trailers. These are hydraulic tipper trailers. You're going to find these in the trailers section of your store, and you can see you get both of them here. The difference, of course, being the size, 7,000 liters or 9,000 liters and 2,800 bucks and 4,200 bucks base for each of these. And once we go into them, they both have, for the most part, the same options. Now, coloring options, you do have a few there, not the full, not the full array, but you do have quite a few options. Same with your design colors, same type of thing there. Now our configuration options, we of course have an extension option to go up to 9,000 with the larger of the two trailers. So this is the larger of the two. You also have the option of going with the flat deck, so a bale loading trailer. And then back to our regular. Now wheel types, you have two different options here. You have Trelleborg and Lizards. Now with the Trelleborgs, you have a few size options, which is kind of different. So if we go back and forth, you can see this doesn't change. But if you watch the wheels on the trailer, you can see that they kind of update and go to bigger sizes and you're getting charged more as well. So just be aware of that. That's the B502G as well as the B555FJE. And here we have the fuel tank. Once again, this is a mobile fuel tank. It has a capacity of 900 liters. It sells for 3,500 bucks. It can go to any of the lizard colorings. That's really the only option. As you can see, you can grab this with any of the forestry equipment, pick this up. It also is fully strappable. So that there folks, that is the fuel tank. And now for probably my favorite mod of the day. This is the Fiat 1355C. Fantastic. Now this is a tracked crawler tractor, of course. Uh, this is only one model. We've got two different versions of that model available looking right here. It sells for 35 grand base. It has a horsepower of uh, 135 horsepower and it goes roughly 15 kilometers an hour. Not exactly the fastest tractor, but these old, these old rollers or these old cat style tractors never are that quick, are they? Uh, you've got a couple different options as you can see the three point hitch is an option of course the roof up here is an option we've got a bit of a uh, an engine cover on this one that is also an option there are a couple track options as well as the weight option on the front let's go over to the store and take a quick look of course you're going to find this in the small tractor section of your store as far as your, co your colors go folks there's not a ton here um for the main colors you have orange orange or orange uh as for our rim colors orange or black that's really it not a lot of options there as far as our configuration goes well, you can add a front weight and a rear linkage. That's pretty much it. Not a lot of other options, front weight or rear linkages. Those are the only two real options for those. Design, cabin or no cabin. And then our engine option, once again, very interesting here. I was expecting to be able to get more horsepower out of this, but all this does is simply add cover to the side. That is it. No other options. And then lastly, our tracks. We have a 19 inch track or uh, the track's 19 or the track's 17. They're both a 7-inch track, but it's really the depth that changes on these, I find. It kind of changes just the overall depth of everything and the look of the uh, the track itself. So that's the only options available for this. That's the 1355C. And our last mod that's available for all platforms is the Grain Garage, folks. It is just a placeable object, fairly straightforward. It's got some windows along the back, and it's got two doors around the front. Of course, both these doors do open. And they have an animated opening sequence inside you're gonna find well there's not much in here we do have a light switch that's down right here and it turns well it turns lights on and that's pretty much it so this sells for twenty-five thousand bucks and it's gonna cost you fifteen dollars a day 
And the rest of the mods we're talking about today will only be available for PC and Mac for now. First one is the Coombe Tanker Semi-Trailer. This is a 30,000 liter tank tanker semi-trailer that is designed for slurry. It has steerable rear axles. It has a requirement of 210 horsepower and it sells for $84,000. The only real options, you have an option to put mud flaps on the back. You can see we have them here and you have some tire options as well. Um, the, the tanker itself is for the most part fully configurable as for color. So we can change that to any color we would like. But that is pretty much it for that. It is also a manure system ready in case you were wondering. So that is about it. All the options you're going to find with that. But there is the Coombe Tanker Semi-Trailer. And here we have the MH from 3000. Very similar to the Roto Arm we had a few weeks back. What this allows you to do, folks, is take your power harrower and power harrow as you cultivate. This arm does swing back and forth just like the Roto Arm. I'll jump up inside here. We can take a look at that. You can see here we can switch sides. We can neutralize the arm, put it right down the center for transportation. There it goes. It should go both sides actually as well. Um, it will work in conjunction with your plow so you can plow and cultivate at the exact same time. It does, however, require recommending 300 horsepower to operate both. Just be aware of that this little tractor would have, this little case would have some problems with this setup. But there you folks have it. That's the image from 3000. And our last mod is actually, well, two mods, grain drying. Now there's two different options for this particular one. And this is, of course, is for PC only. Um, it is a global company as well. You will need to have global companies running in order for this to work. And there's two different versions. From the outside, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two. So we've only placed down the one. I'll tell you exactly how the, the differences work. But grain drying, what it does is it takes any of your grains and well, it dries it. So we can see down below all the different grains it can take. And like I said, this is a bit of a multi-fruit map or a multi-fruit uh, silo as well. So there are a few extras from your base wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans. We've got some poppies. We've got some spelt. Uh, there's a few other ones in here. I'm not sure if it's, what else we could possibly have in. I have to go through the whole list, but there's a few different options in here. But the nice thing about this is it increases the value of your crop. So if we go into our store, we'll take a look now. And you can see, if we go all the way over here, so our first three are grain, our barley, our wheat, and our oats. 600, 400, and 1,000 respectively, roughly in that range. If we go back down to our dried grains, come down to the very end. There we go. So these ones here are now the dried grains. So they've been through the silo and dried out. 1,400, 1,200, and 1,000 respectively. So almost doubling, pretty much doubling the cost uh, that we're going to make from each of these grains if we use this. So it'll, it's an, one more step to do. And it has to sit in the silo for a bit. Now, in order to get this to run, folks, you're going to need to add fuel to it. So if we walk up to this, I should be able to bring up the menu. There we go. And you can see our inputs are going to be barley and fuel for this particular option. The fuel has got to be added and we're going to get dry barley. So over here, we're going to add our fuel directly. We'd add our diesel into this and that's going to allow it to do our thing. Now, the secondary option for this is to add biofuel. Now, using biofuel, you can either use wood chips or you can actually use our new pellets. Dump it in here and that will be your fuel source to dry your grain. Interesting use for our new pellets, wouldn't it be? So that there's the new grain dryer system, very cool. And that's going to do it for the mods, mod updates, the new mods that are available for Farm Sim. Let's take a look at what's currently in testing, folks. There is roughly 50 new mods in testing, and most of these, once again, have switched up. Like I promised, folks, there's a bunch of John Deere's on this list. We're gonna take a quick look at as well and go through those. We'll see where they end up. They're all currently up in PC. They're being tested for PC. None of them are being tested for console as of yet. Hopefully they make it down there soon. Let's dive in and take a look. Starting with the AgroLift Oz 2H, the Bomber Front Cultivator, the Consume Comet VVT32, Dresdenhof, Egg Storage, the Fent Former Pack, as well as an update to the Flat Map, the Helkin BM5000, another global company, Honey Production, Iberian's Southlands. And into the John Deere's, here we have the John Deere 6000 series, the John Deere 7R, the John Deere 7R, my 2020 series, the John Deere 843 Wheeled Feller, as well, the John Deere Starfire 6000 Pack, KRF RMFR, Kukin Colette 8040 ALU, the Kong Slide Vibro Crop, the Lizard G2, as well as Maze Plus, Maze Plus Forage Extension. The Marks in ST 3.25. We got some new bales. Pack La Campania. Pick bottles. The Rabe 5 shares plow. We have an update for Sandy Bay 19 is back on the testing list. 
Sosnovica, the straw tray, as well as the toolbar. I'm curious to see what this one is. If this is a toolbar for an anhydrous pack, that would be pretty cool. So folks, that is going to do it for mods and testing for PC. The rest we're going to be looking at are being tested currently for console. Right off the bat, we got an update to the Adorante pack. The case IHRB465 Baylor. Got the cattle pasture. The Easy Sheds pack. The fuel tank, which was obviously released just today. Got a Hardy Interactive Sprayers, which was also just released today. The Kessel F104 also just released today. I'm seeing a trend here. The Crone Easy Collect 600. This was being tested for PC in just the last few weeks. Has finally made it down onto console. Coon Interactive Sprayers, which was just updated today. The Curvedland FML, the Lizard ORPE 250 trailer, Logset 10F GT, as well as the Logset 5F GT, the Mercury Farms Shed Pack, the old PGR Cow Barns, Play Placeable Details Pack, which was just released today. We've got the Red Brick Garage, we've got a sack of potato pallets as well, the Sapphire MES 400, and lastly, the Small Metal Shed. So folks, we're down to 187 mods. That's down a couple from the last two days, I guess it's been. It's over the weekend there. Uh, average wait time is five work days. So 187 mods currently waiting to be tested. Hopefully we see some more of these come out in the next couple of days. Uh, of course, a lot of John Deere's have hit that list today. I was kind of happy to see those. Those are gonna be nice to see in the next little bit. Hopefully you get those John Deere mods in testing to move down into console and then hopefully as soon as possible. Looking forward to seeing those. There'll be no Farm Sim show tomorrow. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll be busy that day. On Thursday, we'll be back again with the Farm Sim show first thing in the morning. So hopefully we can catch you then. Other than that, folks, uh, that's going to do it for us today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop that like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you next time. See you, folks.